Hello folks, this has gone spy. The spy will come to you live for Star Wars Nights for Public the Sith Lords. And from the last episode, we've uh, ventured uh, into the darkest parts of Malkor 5 and that we are uh, that the exile and I are split up from our companions so that since we've crashed upon the planet or an asteroid, I'm not exactly sure if we could call it a planet, but um there are other individuals of dangerous forces on this planet other than the possibility of the still remaining Sith or Dark Jedi or Assassins on this planet. As they are called the Storm Beast that harnesses the dark side of the Force. Known as the, Mor the Master of Force Scream. So right now, uh, we've entered a different part of Balcor as we've entered its depths. So as we are going to continue to press onward. More of them. Oh, yeah. Force channel. Force damage doubled. Force points. Regeneration. It's difficult handling. It was difficult if only in one, but two or three is a lot to take. These things are a lot tougher than they look, as you can see. Oh, plus there are some gas mines and those green uh, ventilation, wherever they are. So I'm using breath control to make sure I don't get myself poisoned. Another one. Beast trick. There is a Jedi. There is a Civ, another Civ Academy than the one uh, on. That was too close for comfort. Yeah, during the, the as we were venturing of Malcor, there were these damage consoles that are I'm not exactly sure what they are, but they're. But it seems to me that the ones from Bag, from where it came from, and the one here are Down Republic ships. Must have been. Happened during the Mandalorian Wars. This place is a stink of pure evil, as. Uh, as uh, we've. Uh, just got that little loading screen pictured and it's showing up before the end of the last video showing that there is a Sith Academy here then one uh, back on the Corbin only the Yamal Core 5 is much worse than Corbin
Aggression style, a Toru. Damage to a single opponent. <sighs> Hold on, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, folks. Um, family problems. <sighs> All right. Let's get started. Sorry. This looks like a maze. I hate mazes. Wonder what kept Malkor five and in such a stability state after so many years has passed. <sighs> More of these damn things. Stupid beast.
lot better than the current one I was using. Superior destructed in Ender. It's an item that's used to work bowl for There's another part of the area I wanted to check out. Burst of speed. There. That's our way down there. That's where we need to go. And that's definitely a place so where Kraya must have gone inside. She's in there, along with her older second apprentice, second raid, named Darv Sion. This must have been the place where the Sith Assassins and Dark Jedi must be coming from. That's been hunting us across the galaxy. All from Malkor 5. Everything will be decided at the heart of Malkor. And to see once and for all if what Kreia speaks about the Force, about the Jedi, are right and wrong, but mostly about me. See, she's not just my teacher, but also a Revan's teacher that's responsible for Revan's fall, or responsible for how he started his fall. But Kreia tells me that Revan has always been stay true to himself, which might probably explain how he was able to get to the back to the light side, not just by the council's decision, according to what Carve told us about how Revan has gone spy returned to the, the Jedi. I have a bad feeling about this. That big area spot is definitely looks like a trap. A place for an ambush. Hang on just a second. Sorry about how the camera sends happen, it's just fame problems. Family is important, but kind of wish they don't exactly interrupt me on every moment. But I can't really blame them. I don't have a schedule of a working calendar for them to keep in track of which time I start uploading videos for this channel. Shit, I knew it. A trap! What the hell? Tell me that thing's not big. Tell me that thing is not huge. Shit, Christ almighty. Alright. Frosty style, Julio. I 
have an idea, but I need to do this quick. Damn it. Force enlightenment. For burst of speed. Just like with the joy tank back on Telios, so when we're searching for a shuttle to search for the Evan Hog, is what I'm now gonna be using in against this beast. Alright, time to lure the bait. Hey, you ugly son of a bitch! Your mommy is a salamander! Come on! Come on, pussy! Come on, I'm right here! Here's this big ugly meat. Takes care of that problem about difficult development. Now to move on. Well, I wasn't going to want to try to take on that thing head on. Besides, you saw how big that thing was. It's some. Um, it's not big as a ranker, and a real ranker, not those small ones, but it's just about as dangerous as any ranker on in any galaxy. I ain't going to take on a behemoth like that. Not without a backup or at least send up traps. During the time of the adventures uh, of a uh, journey uh, uh, that has gone Spy Riven have taken to find the Star Forge, he encountered a Crave Dragon on Tatooine and did in somewhat similar things to it. Alright. There it is. Alright, folks, we're going to need to put a stop here after after these messages, folks. This has gone spy, the spy, sign off for now. Be right back after these messages.